Yo, what is up guys? JD Zero. Let me just try to grab my mic. So yo, what is up guys? Uh basically I got some stuff here to do a giveaway. I mean I didn't do a giveaway, but to unbox basically. Let me just try to get my mic up on here. So yes, I got my packages to do the unboxing and we're gonna just go ahead see what's in the first one as you can tell by the title uh, we're gonna have our Cyndaquil in one of these if we could just uh, what I like rip it open no like halfway halfway I'm gonna halfway rip it open gotta like use my Batman knife to like rip halfway open right here and the little package here okay Ta-da! So, yay, we got our Cyndaquil. Or the little Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil. Now, think about this Cyndaquil. It looks like a... I don't know, it looks like... It looks like a Cyndaquil. That... Uh, I think it's like... It looks like one of the... It's not, a, it's not one of the real Cyndaquils, I guess you could say. Let me try to open up the thing here. Do, 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 do. Okay. Because it's all sealed up and whatnot. We're gonna try to open it this. So it's not an actual from the Pokemon Company. It's not one of the ones from the Pokemon Company. It's like it seems like it is a little bit like one of the official ones from the Pokemon Company, but it doesn't look like it. I'm trying to see the little thing here on the bottom. This little clip. This little piece of thing around it that seems like it's not trying to show it to me. Doesn't want to show it. Uh, but yeah. I don't know if it's like the, you guys can tell me if it's uh, one of the real plushies or not, but this is one of those like keychain type of plushies basically. So it's a Cyndaquil with a, basically a keychain and whatnot, but it's still one of those mini like plushies um, that's going to be going up on my bookshelf. I don't know, I might carry this. Just because it's a cynical, I love cynical. One of my favorite Gen 2 starters. I might, you know, carry it. It's like one of those things where I might carry it one day and I'll just leave it back on my bookshelf type thing. So we're just gonna go ahead, pit that right where we need to pit it at. On the here. There we go. So now we got that right there on top of the chef there. Okay. So now we get to our second unboxing here. Rip this right open. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need to away from here. I don't want to like not. <laughs> anyway, open this up. Ugh. Let's see what we got. Ooh, hoo, hoo. So now we got oh my gosh, why are you blurry? Why are you blurry? Blur okay. I was about to say like why are you blurry? So we got the silver, gold, and crystal Pokemon Adventures of Soul, Silver, and Crystal manga. Now, this is gonna be a very interesting manga. So, you can see on this side, you have uh, red appears up in there, also blue, green, and yellow all appear up in this manga series. So, can't wait to start reading this manga series. It's uh, basically volume eight 
to 14. And then once we get to that point where we end up getting our other set manga series, uh, we're going to keep on getting more manga and then showing it off to you guys. And uh, once it's complete, once everything is complete on here on the bookshelf, we get to show you exactly what the bookshelf looked like. So I can't wait till that happens. Down. I'm gonna just open up this little guy. Okay. So there it is, all in this glory. Without, I mean, it still shines off. Still, still shines off. But hey, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, I think there's like a little image. No, I think there's like a little. What you call it? It should be like a little poster here. Yeah, there's a poster here. So we got a poster here that comes with the manga. Ah, here we go. So there's the little poster with the little manga for the manga series. That's the poster. I also have the exact same poster for. If I can see if I can find it, because I know I put it here somewhere. Is this it? That's that it. I don't. I don't know where it's at. I had another poster here, but it looks like I can't find it. I got so much stuff. So much stuff. Oh no. Oh, I can't find it. I don't know. Did I put it back in here? No, I didn't put it back in here. Okay, so I didn't put it back in the other box. That's weird. I could have sworn I had it, too. That is so weird. I don't know what happened to it, guys. But, uh, basically, it will have the same thing on there. Uh, if I could find it, that would be amazing. I don't know exactly where I put it, though. You know what? I think I did. I think I do. I think I found it too. Yes, I found it. All right, I found it. Nice. So yeah, we had this poster here with the uh, Pokemon Adventures Volume One to Seven, and now we have the Pokemon Adventures Volume Eight through Fourteen. So there you go. Got two volumes right there. Nice. So. I'm gonna keep pinning. So for these posters, they're basically are gonna go on the side of my book, so you won't be able to see them once I reveal it to you guys. The with the bookshelf being all maxed out and full, I don't know exactly where to put the posters at. I might like might I might put them on the side of my bookshelf, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. But that's the end of the unboxing wall. Not, not necessarily. Let me just pull out the books. Because I didn't do the same thing like the other one. I didn't pull out the books. But now I get to pull out the books. Out of this one. So. We have. Episode. I mean. <laughs> episode. We got uh, volume 8. So that's what volume 8 looks like. And it's glory. And here's the back cover of it. Then we got volume 9, nice and shiny. This is a, it's actually a little bit better than the, uh, that's kind of interesting. This looks way much better than the volume 7 and volume, volume, volume 1 to 7. I'm surprised the way they presented these books here is like gold and silver. So it's like, it looks way much better, more, uh, have a cleaner polish to it for some reason so that's pretty cool it looks more shiny like because if you if you read like the mangas from volume one through seven it doesn't look that shiny but these these look like on point shiny oh my gosh that's that's pretty nice it's pretty nice guys 
And in the last chapter, this last chapter feels a little bit thicker than the the the, the other ones, though. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker. Like if we get uh, volume thirteen, and we do a comparison, dude, it's a little bit thicker than it. Okay, here. So as you can see, it's a little bit thicker. Yeah, it has a little bit more pages. So volume fourteen got a lot more information. That's interesting. I wonder if all the, because that's not how. Uh, Volume one through seven was. It didn't have like it didn't have like a lot in the last volume of of seven. So it's interesting. It's very interesting that this is like the one that's a little bit more pages on this one for being the last volume of fourteen. And I can't wait to see what fifteen is like on the uh, Ruby and Sapphire. And then once we get to that, and then get the Emerald and Fire and Leaf Green. Can't wait to see exactly how much uh, like the last volumes are that looks like, and then getting X and Y, black and white two. Well, not black and white two, because black and white two doesn't have that many volumes. It's only just one and two volumes, so I'm not getting the black and white two series. I'm getting the black and white series. And then I'm getting the Diamond and Pearl series and Diamond and Pearl and Platinum series. There's two different versions of it, but I'm getting both of those. Uh, yeah, can't wait to finish reading this manga series and then giving you a review on that because I already gave you guys a review, uh, a review of uh, Pokemon Adventures Volume One through Seven. So now I'm. Once I finish reading this, I'll give you guys another video on that for this uh, manga series. So stay tuned for that when that video gets up. Um, other than that, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>